at Ben and Kelly Show. If you want to get us on Facebook, sometimes you see drama on Facebook. You screenshot it, you send it to us. All Kelly and I do is bring it to life. We act out the different commenters, the different people who are posting on the thread. Now, I'm not going to lie. This scenario has a paranormal aspect to it. Oh. Okay. So Ben's doing some heavy lifting on this one. He's playing Pam, who starts the whole thing off. He also plays Jim and Dan. I'm going to play Shelby. We'll just say that Pam's got a problem with a ghost. Oh. Acting out the drama you see on Facebook with... Facebook Vice Theater. On 99.7 DJX. Hey, so I've posted here before needing advice about a friend who is prioritizing her friendship with a ghost over her friendship with me. Wow. Okay. So that's where we're starting. What? Prioritizing ghosts over re- reality. People <laughs> laughed, which I thought was pretty rude because okay. ghosts are real. Yeah. Now she's calling the ghost her best friend and even joking about the ghost being her maid of honor. Should I be upset? She was my friend first. Okay. All right. So Should we switch up the music? Yeah, I was going to say, did, did we change from like the dueling banjos, which we normally do, to kind of an X-Files? I think this is a different realm now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Facebook Fight Theater has to, gone into a different realm. Okay. Continuing. Not really sure where to start on this one. Yeah, is the ghost a girl or boy ghost? All right, solid questions there. Okay. Girl ghost, and I'm pretty sure she's sleeping with my friend's boyfriend. Okay, wow. What? Not, this is this is getting into a completely different realm altogether. Yeah. How do you know it's sleeping with her boyfriend? All right, valid question. That's what I was about to ask. Well, he looks really guilty whenever the ghost is around. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. And you want some guidance on this, Pam? Yes. Like, should I tell her straight up that the ghost is a bitch? No. <laughs> I mean, do you? How do you approach that with your friend? I don't know. Well, will that make the ghost angry? I mean, angry ghosts aren't the best ghosts, at least in the movies. You're right, Dan. Maybe I can try and freeze the ghost out of our friend group. I just feel the ghosts probably aren't going to respect traditional social boundaries. I mean, that's a valid, <laughs> that is a valid statement right there. Ghost isn't going to care what you do. Well, nope. maybe I should prove that I'm a better maid of honor by throwing a surprise bridal shower where the ghost isn't invited. <laughs> okay. Yeah, about that, not being invited is probably not a deal breaker for a ghost. This is all very true. Pam, I hope you find some help for your problem. But this page is for people who have recently suffered the loss of a pet. Okay, oh, hang on a second. Oh, wow, what happened? So wait, is she posting about a ghost relationship on a pet loss Facebook page? Oh my god! So... Unless we're talking about a ghost of a dog or a cat, which would make your thoughts about your friend's boyfriend criminal, I'm afraid we're going to have to jump off here. Don't say jump off. It reminds me of what happened to my kitty. Oh, so sorry, Shelby. Oh, Oh, my gosh. Wow. Oh, gosh. What a wild ride that was. That is so weird. All of it's so weird. Twists and turns and ghosts. (laughs) (laughs) That was Facebook Fight Theater on 99.7 DJX.